Hello and welcome to Trans TV News Summary. I am Ibrahim Yusuf. Now the news in brief. A federal high court sitting in Gusau, the Zamfara state capital, on Tuesday nullified the governorship primary of the People's Democratic Party that produced Dawda Lawal Dari as the governorship candidate of the party in the state. In September, the court nullified the previous primary that produced Lawal Dari as candidate following a suit filed before it by Ibrahim Shehu and two other aspirants challenging the credibility of the primary. The court ordered a rerun, but Lawal Dari again emerged winner at the rerun also in September. Properties worth millions of Naira have been destroyed following a fire outbreak at the Poa Plaza in Joss Road area of Lafia, the Nasra state capital. Most of the properties belonging to the Nigeria police in the building were burnt before the Nasra state fire service officials arrived. And on the foreign scene, the Pacific Island nation of Samoa on Tuesday announced preparations were underway to host a 2024 Commonwealth Summit, the first such event of King Charles III's reign. King Charles's participation is yet to be confirmed, but he has also been a vocal supporter of the Voluntary Association, which encompasses 2.5 billion people. And finally, in sports, equipment for one of Africa's best hockey pitches has arrived in Okwanam in Delta State, as the state government continues its bid to stage the best ever national sports festival. The 21st National Sports Festival, tagged Delta 2022, will run from November 28th to December 10th. Okwanam, an Anioma town located in Oshimili North Council of Delta State, hosted the Hilltop Breakers hockey tournament for several years. And that wraps up Trans TV News Summary for this hour. For more news, you can subscribe to watch us live on YouTube and follow us across all our social media platforms. I am Ibrahim Yusuf. Thanks for watching.